For people living here, the Cape Flats is a war zone. Turf battles between feuding gangs means hundreds of lives are lost every year. Many of them bystanders, unable to escape the bullets. Michael, we're not using his real name, belongs to a gang. He says he can't survive outside it. Our environment and our place and our situation, it pushes you back into all of the stuff here. Because you feel, you know, I've, I've got all the ability, I've, I've got all the skills, but nothing can happen for you. You do everything in your power. You go out every morning to go look for work and stuff, but you just seems to never get anything right. Gangs make money by selling drugs. The battle for territory means more customers and higher revenue. Eight months ago, the government set up the anti-gang unit, whose work is to root out gangs, guns and drugs. It conducts daily raids, searching the homes of known drug dealers and drug dens. While the unit has made hundreds of arrests, the city of Cape Town says there are nearly not enough officers. Now the army is being deployed to help curb the violence. Special operations like this haven't stopped gang violence on the Cape Flats. According to government statistics, the number of murders has increased. This weekend alone, 43 people were murdered, more than half of them by gunshot. People in these communities say there aren't enough police and they think the presence of the army will make things safer. Many people here accuse the police of being ineffective and corrupt. In 2016, a police officer in charge of disposing confiscated firearms was jailed for selling the guns worth half a million dollars to gangsters. This man, who doesn't want to be identified and belongs to a gang in Lavender Hill, says poor policing is common. They take the people here, yeah, they take the people, they go over them, they put plastic bags around their heads, they put in tear gas, then they close it. So you know most when tear gas is in something and in it don't have uh, oxygen, and what they do with you, a lot of that police is corrupt. Man. They take money, you go, you, they, they catch you now, of that guy, they catch you now, what the fire, and tomorrow you see that guy walking again. While they may be from different gangs and often find themselves on the streets at war, all the gang members we spoke to agree on one thing. Sending in the army would only bring a temporary peace and that violence would likely return to the Cape Flats as soon as it withdraws. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera on the Cape Flats in Cape Town.